Hey, Bob and Kate. Hey, I have been having so much fun with the Burridge Never Fail Color Wheel, and I wanted to show you what I've been doing with it. I may have written you this in a letter, but it doesn't make any sense in the letter, so I'm going to draw it here. I draw a key, like a keystone for a uh, building structure, top and bottom, and then a cross. This would be my red, teal, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, blue, indigo, purple, and fuchsia, or violet and fuchsia. I don't know the right way to do that. But it makes it so easy for me so that I can just use it in the corner of sketch work that I'm doing. Here's something that I did just the other day, not necessarily using, oops, yeah, those are color, the color play palette, red, and then for orange I used burnt sienna, and I used yellow, and then a couple teals, and a couple blues, and an indigo. I'm really enjoying the uh, ink tense pencils, and my favorite, in, it's hard to find a good indigo. It seems like their indigo has a lot of green in it, and that's not really the way it should go. So I've chosen, I think it's called Peacock Blue and Lagoon for my indigos for the ink tense pencils. Anyway, those are that's just some color play. And then last night, I took to heart what Bob had said in the workshop that I went to in, I think it was like October or so, down in Pasadena, and I treated up the front of my visual journal, which I'm really enjoying these things. I can get them at Dick Blick now. And I put some gesso on it and put my basic colors on in something that I divided into twelfths. Isn't showing really well on here. But then I made a little turnaround and put it together with a brad that I made out of wire. And there's my color theme, light green and the Burridge Never Fail Triad, I'm calling it, would be, I think that's my red and blue and purple. The split compliments, I'm enjoying myself, so I would enjoy using that yellow-green with fuchsia, and this is supposed to be an indigo here, but again, it's not showing up very well. So that was just something that I made out of what I've learned and it's been really a blast. Let's see if I can turn it here. Yeah. Turning the book. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy this whole idea. I may not have it exactly figured out right, but it's giving me some really neat stuff to work with. I have found that I really love teal colors and teals with oranges or indigos with oranges. Just enjoying those colors. Somebody told me that at this age your orange receptors start being happier like orange. Um, here are a couple things I've just done lately. Let's see if I can make it take the screen there. I'm getting bigger all the time. I was just doing little sketches in my notebooks, uh, figuring out how to make kind of some human form type of things. And there, I'm sort of going to the purples and the yellowy goldies. This was more of a monochromatic thing that I did. I started out with that uh, cruciform shape. Uh, but it sort of just became a face and uh, sort of a thought-filled thing. I'm getting kind of spiritual in the, in the stuff that I've been doing. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. The main thing I wanted to show you was this little Daily Bob because I'm using it all the time and I absolutely function with it. Here's my little set of my Ink Tense pencils and I've arranged them. I've got little pockets inside this. I've arranged them in the order, kind of grouping them in the different 
10 colors of your color wheel. I looked up that guy that you got the information that you kind of made the easy stuff, the easy version of his work. Good stuff, loving that. So I'm gonna be playing with that some more. And he just kind of added green to the blue, red, and yellow. So it was blue, red, yellow, green, and what was the other one? Must be purple as his five basic colors. And so there was red, yellow, and yellow, green, and green, blue, and blue, purple, and purple, red, or violet, whatever it's called. I also have uh, another little set here of my not colors that fit into the color wheel, the browns and so forth. Anyway, it's just a blast. I'm having a wonderful time. Maybe I'll come down and uh, see if I can figure out how to squeeze some money out of uh, my little portion of my mom's estate. You said this is not your mother's workshop. Boy, I wish it were. She would have gotten very frustrated with trying to be creative and do things that weren't really precise. She learned her artwork in such a precision way and uh, it was hard for her to loosen up. I never did the precision stuff comfortably and so this was perfect for me. And there I am with my green thumb. Gretchen has a green thumb today. Tomorrow it could be uh, indigo purple. Anyway, thank you so much for all your sharing. Uh, love playing with that stuff. Let me see, there was one more thing I was going to show you, if I could. This is my, again, this was just kind of one day I was fiddling with the pencils and seeing what I could come up with. Took some notes from a workshop I went to, tried different things with that circumform. All this over here is actually kind of the math of doing the colors. So I've been having a great time with that. See, here's my little my little cross section uh, where, what are the colors that I'm playing with here? There's a gold, which is kind of between yellow and, and uh, orange, and then some indigo-y, bluey kind of colors, and this I think is a felt green, maybe. Uh, start playing with some more mu music theory, sorry, color theory, where these are making it kind of into a globe shape and seeing uh, sort of the North Pole colors and the South Pole colors and the colors in the temperate zone. Um, this, again, is sort of the math of it. And where I tried to make a chart to figure it all out, didn't work very well. Um, my little color wheel made much more sense. This little thing here is from Spiral Dynamics, which is an entirely different thing but something I'm studying sort of as a spiritual practice and trying to see how, how I can make pictures that tie into that. Anyway, I am just having a blast. Here's some more color theory. A lot of color theory. Where's the work? My whole thing was to make some uh, series and body of work, and I'm still warming up to that. So there you go. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. It's so